This is part two, um, finishing the scriptures that he gave for his message. Praise, oh sorry, Ephesians 1, 3 through 8. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. Habakkuk um, 1, 8. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards and are more fierce than the evening wolves. And their horsemen shall spread themselves and their horsemen shall come from afar. They shall fly as the vulture that hastens to eat. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall consume as the east wind and they shall gather the captives as the sand. And this is Joel 3, 9 through 10. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Rouse the warriors. Let all the fighting men draw near and attack. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am strong. Revelation 5. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides, sealed with the seven seals and i saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll but no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it i wept and wept because no one was found to be worthy to open the scroll or look inside then one of the elders said to me do not weep see the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has triumphed he is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who, had, who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls of, full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. Second Peter 2 Peter 2.9-12 The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in lust of uncleanness cleanness, and despise government. Presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities, whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute, brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption first corinthians 5 3 through 10 for i verily as absent in body but present in spirit whoa have judged already as though i were present concerning him that has done that has so done this deed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together in my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The passion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. Jesus clock. With the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, to deliver such a, such an one unto Satan, for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Your glorying is not good. Know you not that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that you may be a new lump as you are unleavened. 
For even Christ our Passover is sacrifice for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not the old leaven, with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote unto you an epistle not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or extortioners, or with idolaters. For then must you, must you needs go out of the world. If, James 2, 8 If you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. 1 Timothy 1, 9-11 We also know that the law is made not for the righteous, but for the lawbreakers and rebels, the ungodly and sinful, and the unholy and irregulous, or irreligious, sorry, for those who kill their fathers or mothers for murderers, for the sexual immoral, sexually immoral, for those practicing homosexuality, for slave traders, and liars and perjurers, and for whatever else is contrary to the sound doctrine that conforms to the gospel concerning the glory of the bless, blessed God, which he entrusted to me. Jeremiah 5.15 People of Israel declares the Lord, I am bringing a distant nation against you, an ancient and enduring nation, a people whose language you do not know, whose speech you do not understand. Galatians 3.11 No one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. Hebrews 1.5-7 For unto which of the angels said he at any time, You are my son, this day have I begotten me. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bring, brings in the first begotten into the world, he says, And let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he says, Who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? Sorry, it's supposed to go to 13. And, um, but unto the Son, he says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved the loved righteousness and hated inequity. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of the, your hands. They shall perish, but thou remains, and they all shall wax old as does a garment. And as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. But to whom? Sorry, but to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make your enemies thy footstool?